They mess with me. God forbid. God forbid, Constant. You mess for a living. <laughs> Stand. Constant, my ass. God forbid. I mess for your hand. I just finished taking milk, so today you are gone. I'm oh, going to eat beans. After cooking the, cooking the beans, beans, I will allow the beans to sour. You cannot eat sour beans. I'll eat it. You cannot eat sour because beans. Because of you. Yeah. I'll eat it. But let me just go and sleep now. So that when I wake up, I'll go and drink liquid milk. You collect bone blast. Oh no, no. That mess pass mess. It gets exhausting sometimes. So I pay out of tire. I pray I'll be here on my birthday. I will be here. At that point, when I tell them, and I will tell them anything you want to do, now you can do. People because I was scared. When I got to plot, you like a plot. What did I just watch, guys? <laughs> Kelly and Cassie are planning a fighting competition. <laughs> oh my days, these two people, eh? God. It's really good seeing Cassia smiling after everything that happened yesterday. Guys, Cassia came and tapped Kelly Ray's, you know, bomb. And the next thing, Oga just farted on her hand. <laughs> Kelly Ray said, don't mess with me. <laughs> and Cassia is telling Kelly Ray, don't worry. I'm going to pay you back. In fact, I already too good. I already took cornflakes and milk. Let me go and sleep so that the food will digest and the whole milk will not stay in the fed. So these people are planning to use mess to finish each other. <laughs> Seriously, Kelly Ray brought Kelly Ray and Cassie brought a different dynamic to this game, and I'm loving every bit of it. Moving on, guys. If you watch the life eviction, you know what happened. How Ebuka put Cassia on the spot. So she felt the need to like apologize to Onyeka, although Kelly Ray was not in support of it, okay. But baby girl went ahead to apologize to Onyeka. It was a feeling, and we're old humans and we have feelings. So if that conversation made me feel that way, I'm really sorry about that. But guys, I don't even know how I feel about this whole apology thing. But the way Cassia's confidence just shrinked all of a sudden. I believe that Cassia, on a norm, will not go and apologize to Nyeka. We, we've been watching, we, we will know her. She will not go. But the way Ebuka dragged her and put her on the spot yesterday gave her the impression that, okay, people are now seeing me as a liar and I need to go apologize. I really wish she did not go and apologize, to be honest, because at the end of the day, housemaid gossip, they gossip about themselves. When gossiping, they add salt, sugar, and pepper, and all of that to make their gossip sweet. And it's so bad that even Nelly, that Cassia told this whole thing, went and, you know, gave Onyeka the whole gist again. Like, Nelly literally went and downloaded the whole gist to Onyeka. Hey! Last lies, there's no friendship in Big Brother's house. Cassia felt the need to like apologize and she went and apologized. I felt so sorry for her yesterday. I felt really, really sorry for Cassia. Because at the end of the day, Onyeka, on the other hand, gossip too. Everybody they gossip. So why did they now make Cassia's own a big deal? But then again, I think I understand why Cassia feel the need to apologize. You know, the whole thing of saying that Onyeka told her. Whereas the whole thing was just, you know, a feeling in her head. I thought that's just the only reason why she felt the need to apologize. But Oyeka and the other, I was expecting Oyeka to, to apologize because Oyeka has said things about Cassia. Even that yesterday night, she still called Cassia a, a, is a vicious lizard. Talking about so many things. Why? What did I do to her? Just a vicious lizard. Um, seeing the way Cassia, like, shrinked yesterday, lost all manner of confidence, huh? I really felt bad for her. But anyway, she, she felt the need to apologize. She did, and I know she will feel better moving forward. So, guys, moving on, Kelly Ray feels the need, you know, to open up to housemates considering their marriage. Okay, you know, housemates have been asking them questions about their relationship. They've been all lying and lying about it. Kelly Ray said that it's really exhausting and is tired of keeping up with the lies. You know, try to tell a lie every point in time to like cover up the whole thing. And Cassie even mentioned that TJ asked her about, you know, their relationship. Are they now official? And she told TJ, don't worry, when you get outside the house, we'll talk about it. So Kelly Ray said that on his birthday, 
that it will open up to the housemates. It will tell everybody that they're actually married and give his reason for concealing that information from the housemates because he was really scared. Okay, we all know. You know how this show can be. Once somebody is married, housemates tend to like segregate it from the person and expect the housemate to act a certain way. They won't be able to like bond really well. But thankfully, the strategy has helped him all this way. So if he decide that it's time for him to like open up, which is almost like the last week of the show, right? I think it's the last week of the show. This is the eighth week. Kelly Ray's birthday is on the 29th of September. So if you now decide to like open up to the housemate, the show is almost ending, okay? Like I think it will just be like the last week to the show. So if you feel the need to open up to the housemate, fine and good. And he said if any of the housemates want to pull up, pull out from the whole friendship or connection they've built because of the whole lie, it's still fine and good. But so far, so good. There is no regret. There is no regret. If not for anything, they both brought a different dynamic to the game. We have never seen people that are married as husband and wife on the show. And they were able to successfully conceal that information. So it is a plus to them. They feel the need to reveal this whole information to the housemates. However, the housemate wants to take it. It's up to them. It has helped them. <laughs> if not for anything, it has helped their game. So there's no need to be there's no need to feel bad about it. So guys, what do you think? Would you really like Kelly Ray to you know open up about his marriage to the housemate? I really pray and hope that Cassia will be in the house. Okay. Whenever I will be making that big reveal to the housemate. But in all of this, I really think TJ should learn to mind his business. That guy is just in everybody's business. The other day, uh, Victoria and Onyeka had a fight. He had to call Victoria by the side, asking how she feel. Yesterday, still asking Kikasia questions. Like, what is that? Ozzy and Onyeka are not in talking terms. Like, you still call Ozzy to question him. Like, if not for the pressure and the questioning the whole housemates are having, are, are bringing to Kelly Ray and Cassia. I'm sure that Kelly Ray will not even expose the whole thing to them. But the whole questioning is becoming too much. Uh uh. That TJ should mind his business. I think they saw. Therapist, therapist. If somebody needs help, sure the person will come and meet you. But you will not be the one to come and ask somebody if he needs help or not. Now, so that they do. Which kind of therapist be that one? Yes, it's your boy Action Ben. I just want to say thank you to everyone for voting for me. See, nobody should be down. Me, I'm in a happy moment. I'm very happy. I am sincerely grateful. Seven weeks, no be beans. So thank you so much. Looking forward to see everyone. Looking forward to party with everyone. Looking forward to do so many things. It's upward ever from here. Osha, best set. She's over here. Thank you so much for voting for me. Um, I'm a bit emotional right now, but I really appreciate your support and We'll see how it goes. See you outside. Bye.